Yeah. What you got in store for you for the rest of the year, man? Uh, knocking these videos out, these visuals. Just, just keep working until yeah, yeah. something comes. And I know um, you got a lot of love for your aunts. I see like you show a lot of love to your aunties. Yeah. I know um, one of your aunts um, passed away. Yeah. Yeah. My uh, pop sister. Uh huh. Yeah. I, um, seeing that you said that you want to start making time for your loved ones. Yeah. Because you know when you out, you just moving, moving, you young, you just like I said, like. I mean, as a kid, say for instance, like your grandmother or something like that, you'd be real close to them. Mm -hmm. And when you get older, you start moving, grooving, kind of like, uh, you kind of like, you don't forget granny, but you don't like have that sound that you did as a kid coming right, up. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, have you considered, uh, have you started to make time for your loved ones? Yeah, I'll be trying to, but it'd be, you know what I'm saying? It'd be difficult a little bit. Because you still got your own set family. And then you got, you know what I'm saying? You still got to focus on what you're trying to do. And, you know what I'm saying? So it just be, you know what I'm saying? It be hard to sometimes. Yeah. And then stuff is starting to slow down, like Christmases and Thanksgivings and shit like that, to where it's like the times you would see them, you know what I'm saying? It ain't that no more. You know, we ain't doing Christmas at grandma's no more or Thanksgiving at auntie house no more. It's like you kind of doing it at your crib or everybody doing their own thing now. Like, this time's changing and shit just different now. Yeah, yeah. And you just said you gotta spend more time, yes, with your family, build up what you got going right, on. Right, right. You know, you got a daughter too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Facts. And what way did your daughter change you? Uh, just a lot. Just really, really, it's um, not really like my situation that changed it. It's, it's, me having peers that's going through certain stuff that and went through certain stuff and I seen how theirs turned out. I'm like, I don't want that for my daughter. You know what I'm saying? Like going to jail and you know what I'm saying, having to depend on XYZ or even passing away and then having to depend on XYZ, you know. Like I don't want that for her. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a lot of shit you gotta give up, change, you know what I'm saying, just to promise her that you're gonna be there. You know what I'm saying? I promise your child that you're gonna always be there you know what i'm saying yeah yeah i definitely can relate to that that's what definitely you know straighten me up in a sense you know like mm -hmm. i said i didn't want my child to go my children now shit to go through that like right. you said like missing out because you know you missing you in jail i actually was locked up before and my on my um, oldest daughter and they kind of like man i don't want to put her through this no more right right and it, i feel like damn I'm, I remember just having nightmares and shit. I in there talking to him. I wake up like, damn, I'm in this motherfucker still. Right, right, <laughs> right. Most definitely.